hi dear students and viewers in this video we are going to discuss about the another important question in the chapter of gravitation that is related to the intermediate fast shear physics so children in our channel i am uploading the all the intermediate fast shear second year videos and m set neat videos also i am uploading that's why you can subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get all the notifications i am sure my channel will help you how to learn physics in a easy way okay let's go for that the question is here children how does the acceleration due to gravity is changes with height how does acceleration due to gravity so acceleration due to gravity is indicated by small g how does the acceleration due to gravity is changes with height so children on earth surface we have the value of g is what 9.8 meter per second square how the g value should be variables with respect of height that is the topic in this video let's go for that here dear students and this is the just assume that this is the earth that should be having some mass capital m and radius should be here r radius should be here r clear now we kept object this is the object this is what object and that should be at the height of h at the height of h from the ground clear for example water may be the planet or whatever may be it is there so one body it is there that should be having some mass m and that should be where it is at the height h so let us assume that let us assume that mass of the body mass of the body is what small m and it is at the height of it is at the height of h from the earth surface from the earth surface clear children so here already we know that one relation is the children what it is in previous video i already uploaded that is video the relation between small g and capital g the relation between between small g and capital g g is equals to gm by r square g is equals to gm by r square so children already we discussed how it will come means like this this is the earth and on that on body it is there having some mass m then here according to the gravitational full ordered f is equals to mg this amount of force is acting on the body and now it is the radius of r then according to the universal law of gravitation what right g m m by r square clear when the body is on the earth surface and the radius the radius of capital r according to the universal law of gravitation what right f is equals to g mm by r square so this is the gravitational pull and this is the gravitation force then both are equal then what you get mg is equals to g m m by r square here small m small m cancel then what you get g is equals to g m by r square in this way we will get the small g and capital g relation okay so we are going to use this equation in this question okay the relation between small g and capital g is what g is equals to gm by r square there small g is acceleration due to gravity and capital g is the universal gravitational constant so so this is the first thing you have to remember children now <coughs> when it is on ground we have formula should be like this this is equation number 1 we are saying now now where is the body the body is at a distance of s at the distance of or at the height of h so now here i am going to say let gh is the acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity at the height at the height of h at the height of h from ground or at surface from at the surface clear 
so now again we are going to apply the same formula for the condition when the body is at the height of h so in this case instead of g we can write gh and gm by and now what is the distance between from a to the object from center of the a to the air surface is r and it is now h now what do you have to say this is the r and this is the h that means what we will write gh is equals to gm by r plus h all square this is the equation number two children g is equals to gm by r square is the equation number one and gh is equals to gm by r plus h whole square equation number two now here from equations one and two children from one and two we are doing the two divided by one two divided by one then what do you get children gh by g gh by g is equals to gh value is what gm by r plus h whole square by and gm by r square gm by r square then what do you get children let's see here Dear students, I need some space. That's why I am raising this one. So here, children, we write G H by G C equals to G H by G C equals to what? Right? G M by R plus H whole square into R square by G M R square by G M. This is the R square. Now G M G M cancel. Then what do you, children? G H by G is equals to R square by R plus H whole square. We will get clear. Now here G H by G is equals to R square by here we are taking the R square is common. Then what do you get? One plus H by R whole square. Clear. So R square R square cancel. Then what do you get? G H by G is equals to 1 by 1 plus h by r all square. Then from that we can write. We can write children. So here very simple. As the final step we are going to write. <coughs> Look here. G h by g c equals to. We are bringing to the numerator this one. Then what do you get? 1 plus h by r all over of minus 2. 1 plus h by r all over of minus 2 we have so from that we can write g h by g is equals to 1 minus 2 h by r so it is a binomial expansion children from that what right g h by g is equals to 1 minus 2 h by r we will consider only first two terms remaining all terms are very very negligible h by r only very less value And we can go for next terms. H by R whole square. Either we will have it. That's why here simply one plus H by R whole square of minus two is a binomial function. From that what right? One by G one plus H by R whole square of minus two is equals to one minus two H by R children. Then we can write G H is equals to G of one minus two H by R one minus two H by R. So this is the expression for Acceleration due to gravity at the height of h from the ground. G h is equals to g of one minus two h by r. That means that from that formula you can write g h is equals to g minus two h by r of g. That means we are taking the values, we are subtracting the certain amount of value from g. That means what g h compared to g, g h value is very less. That means what when The body is taken to some height. G H value is should be like this, and G H is less than the G. Clear. That means that what you have to say when the body is taken to some height, the acceleration due to gravity value is decreases. So finally, what we conclude the value of G is decreases with height by based on the formula G H is equals to G of one minus two H by R. So children, this is a very important four marks. So if you can understand this one, like, share, comment the video, and subscribe my channel to get all notifications. Thank you for watching.